Ten most popular Pakistani street foods. Ten most popular Pakistani street foods. Every country has its own set of unique and distinctive street meals that have become a defining features of the culture of that country. Consumers purchase these cuisines not only because they are delicious, but also because they are inexpensive and easily accessible. The same way, Pakistan is well known for its extensive selection of delectable street foods. Despite the fact that the list of Pakistani street foods is far too long, certain foods are considered to be among the nation's favorites. So in this video, we're going to tell you about 10 most popular Pakistani street foods. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before studying the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Hawa Puri Let's start with breakfast and specifically with Hawa Puri, which is a favorite among Pakistanis everywhere. Fried flatbread prepared from flour that is flaky yet soft, chickpea stew or masala with chickpeas that are so soft that they melt in your tongue like butter, potato curry and semolina halwa, made with heaps of butter and sugar are some of the dishes that are served. At least one shop that serves scalding hot halwa puris can be found at almost every market, no matter how small or large, and some of the most popular locations have enormous lines on weekends and run out of stock before noon. This delectable breakfast is enjoyed by many, whether it is prepared at home or purchased from a market. Hawa puri is a popular Pakistani and Indian breakfast dish that consists of samalina pudding, also known as hawa, and a soft fried dough known as puri, both of which are fried till golden brown. Traditional hawa is produced with a mixture of fried samalina and sugar syrup, which is then blended with nuts such as pistachios or almond to form a sweet dessert. Number 9. Dahi Beret Because Pakistanis adore Dahi Beret, it can be found being sold by roadside carts, small eateries offering snacks, and even prominent cafes and restaurants around the country. A beret is a small fry fritter made of gram flour or a blended mixture of mung and mashed lentils. It is popular in India, tossed in yogurt with diced potatoes, boiling chickpeas, crunchy popadum, and spices along with chopped onion, tomatoes, and green peppers. This dish is a crowd pleasure. You can adjust the amount of sweet, sour, and mint chutney you use. Your mouth will be filled with an amazing combination of flavors from the first mouthful to the last, which will have you wanted to take another bite and repeat the process. An extremely tasty snack that is widely popular in Pakistan and northern India. It is made with a mixture of green pea paste and a variety of spices, which is then formed into crockets and deep fried in hot oil to a crispy texture. There are various street vendors and chest stores where you may get the street food stable, which is normally served cold and drizzled with dahi yogurt and chutneys. Number 8. Samosas and Pakuras Pakuras and samosas are two Pakistani and Indian dishes that are well known all over the world for their deliciousness. Steam pocket of potato, masala, or any other fillings of one's choosing are formed by folding a triangle of dough over itself. A pakora is a fritter that is formed from bran flour that has been blended with various vegetables like as onions, potatoes, spinach, and mushrooms. Their two appetizers are particularly popular at tea time nibbles. Samosas and pakoras are also popular street food items that may be purchased from roadside vendor and cart. Samosas, with their crisp texture and a range of diverse flavors, are an excellent introduction to Indian food for those who are new to the country. Onions, lentils, spicy potatoes, peas, and brown porks are some of the items that are used to fill these deep-fried triangle pastries, which can range from veggies to meat. According to legend, the beloved golden brown snack made its way to India via the ancient trade lines that ran through Central Asia. Fresh, homemade Indian chutneys created from a range of ingredients such as mint, coriander, and tamarind are frequently served alongside these savory triangles, which are typically served hot with chopped onions, yogurt, or chopped tomatoes. Number 7. Bun Kebab Boon kebab is a classic Pakistani street food delicacy originating from Karachi, where it is eaten in practically every corner of the city. 
This tasty snack often consists of a bun stuffed with a combination of shami kebab, chutney, raita, slices of onion, tomatoes, and cucumbers. The filled bun is then fried until well browned and crispy. Chicken, beef, and molten, along with the vegetarian chana dal and dal alzo patties, compose the standard range of kebabs used in the making of bun kebab. Bun kebab is also known as burger, with pan omelet and folks in Pakistan appreciate this particular snack because it's simply cheap and yet highly fulfilling. A classic bun kebab comprises of a bun that is filled with a shami kebab patty, omelet, thinly sliced vegetables, and chutneys. Karachi is notably known for its wonderful bun kebabs, although they are accessible throughout Pakistan from roadside shops and side street sellers. Number 6. Fried Fish as winter approaches, it is common to see restaurants setting up little kiosks and large cauldrons of heated oil, along with heaps of marinated fish ready to be fried in the oil. Typically, such establishments are busy with clients who are either waiting for their turn or delighting in the freshly spiced spicy fish. To help clients cut down on the high calorie content of the dish, several vendors now offer grilled and baked fish options. The flavors that these establishments offer are difficult, if not impossible, to duplicate. Fried fish refers to any type of fish or shellfish that has been prepared by frying in oil or fat. When frying fish, it's common for it to be coated in a batter, egg, and breadcrumbs, flour, or herbs, and spices before being fried and served with a slice of lemon on the side. Number 5. Gola Ganda on hot sunny afternoons, who doesn't like a refreshing ice cream treat? Because of the severe heat in Pakistan during the summer months, Golaganda, shaped ice on a steak douses and various flavored syrups, has become a popular summertime treat. There are numerous variations that can be made by incorporating condensed milk, canned fruit, dry fruit, and ice cream into the recipe. This delicious drink is enjoyed by all ages, including the elderly and the young. Number 4. Kofi Another popular frozen treat in Pakistan that people can't get enough of. It is a type of frozen dessert that is made by slowly cooking milk until it caramelizes and turns into a thick, creamy mixture. Kofi is a popular in India, Pakistan, and other parts of the world. Power the mixture into mouths, the most frequent of which are con shaped and small makas, which are clay paw shaped mouths. Despite the fact that kofis are only accessible from little roadside cart, they are nevertheless a lovely treat. Originally from the India subcontinent, kofi is a frozen diary dish that dates back to the 16th century. It is sometimes referred to as a classic Pakistani ice cream and is a traditional treat from the Indian subcontinent that is popular throughout the world. Kofi Wallas, who are street vendors in Pakistan, are the most common sellers of this product. Number 3. Chicken Lahori Chicken Lahori is a South Asian curry that has its root in the city of Lahore. Served with basmati rice on the side of plate, in Lahore, it is a popular street food dish and also favorite of people. Chicken Lahori is a typical Pakistani chicken dish that originated in the city of Lahore and is served with rice. Cooked chicken pieces are stir-fried with a variety of spices, plain yogurt, onions, garlic or ginger, and tomatoes before being boiled in water or chicken stock until the meat is well cooked. In addition to turmeric powder and coriander, fairy green chilies, black peppercorns, red chili powder, and other herbs and spices, ground masala powder and cinnamon are popular additions. This flavor pack curry may be made even more satisfying by adding potato to the mix of the extra consistency and a thicker consistency. Number 2. Paratha Originally from the Indian subcontinent, paratha is now found in many modern-day countries, including India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, Maldives, Myanmar, Malaysia, Singapore, Mauritius, Fiji, Guyana, Suriname, and Trinidad and Tobago, where wheat is a traditional staple food. Paratha is a flatbread that is native to the Indian subcontinent. Paratha is a sort of Indian bread that is golden brown in color, flaky, and layered, and is even often eaten for breakfast. The name is derived from a combination of the terms that parat and atta, which refers to the baked, layered dough that is used. It is made of a whole wheat flour that is baked in ghee and is available in a variety of shapes, including round, triangular, square, and heptagonal. 
In addition to boiling potatoes and cauliflower, parathas are frequently packed with ingredients such as garlic, ginger, pepper, paneer, and radish. It is not uncommon for them to be served with pickles, yogurt, handmade chutneys, or meat and vegetables curries as an accompaniment. When it comes to Punjabi cuisine, paratha is traditionally served with lassi, a popular yogurt-based beverage. Number 1. Chat Chat is a phrase that refers to a wide range of Pakistani street food, snacks, and small meals that are typically flavored with a combination of salty, spicy, sweet, and sour characteristic. The word chat is derived from the Hindi verb chatna, which means to lick and may relate to the finger-licking good quality of the dishes served several chat restaurant. Chats are often tiny dishes that can be eaten on their own as a snack or paired with other foods to constitute a substantial meal. Chat can be obtained at a chat wallace, where there are street vendors who sell a variety of meals ranging from stuffed bread to deep fried pastry with accompanying dipping sauces all over India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. In South Asia, chat is a family of savory snacks that originated in India. They are typically served as an off de voie or at roadside traps from stalls or food carts in countries such as Pakistan, India, Nepal, and Bangladesh, among others. In the remainder of South Asia and the Caribbean, chat has gained an enormous popularity as a snack. 10 Most Popular Pakistani Street Food Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications.